Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today we have a very exciting Harry Potter haul and it's all from fun.com. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> All right, yes, we have this big box from fun.com to unbox, and <laughs> we have another box to unbox. So, I am so excited to open this up, but before I start opening it all up, I do wanna mention that these were all kindly gifted to me from fun.com, and I am just so excited to see all these items in person. I did personally get to pick out each item, so I know I'm gonna love everything but I have not seen any of these items in person. So let's go ahead and start digging in to this big box. And then I think I'll hold off on this one. It's pretty heavy for last. So I'll keep that one to the side. And I'm so excited to be like finally sitting down and unboxing something for once since I've been renovating this whole Harry Potter room for a little while now. But I did kind of start filling in some of the shelves. This is probably not the permanent, and I don't think anything will ever be permanent on where I place everything on my shelves, but I did want to give you guys something to look at while I am unboxing, so it's not just plain shelves. So <laughs> I did want to mention that and let you know you didn't miss anything yet. We will be decorating in the next video or putting up shelves. We'll see. Also, before we get started, I want to let you know that if you do like any of the items that I mentioned in today's video, there'll be links to all of them down in my description box below. So let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. All right, move some of this stuff on the top. I think I'll start with the lower price point items and then we'll work our way up. All right, the first item I believe is this box. And this one retails for $9.99. I believe it was on sale. I think the original retail price was only $12.99. So not too bad. They package everything super nicely. <gasps> this is so cute. Okay, I'm going to show you first. And then I'll take off the plastic wrap. But it's this really beautiful Quidditch frame. So let me go ahead and take it out of this plastic. All right, is now out of all of the plastic. Here is a close up of the frame. So it is a Gryffindor Quidditch frame. And I don't know if it came in other options. If it did, I'll definitely list it on the screen here. And it is so cute. And I just love all of the little details. So we've got the Golden Snitch. So we've got the Nimbus 2000. We've got a little Gryffindor Captain crest here. We've got the gold hoops on this side. We've got the little Quidditch crest here, and it's just so pretty. And I can't wait to actually put one of my own pictures in here. It fits a four by six inch picture, so it's so cute. Even if like you don't put the picture in, I still like the back of this, that it just says Gryffindor Team Quidditch, property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So it's just a simple frame, and you do have the option to hang it up on your wall, or you can place it on a shelf. And I think that's what I'll probably do. I'll just place mine on a shelf most likely, but I do like that you have both options. So that is the first item, the Quidditch frame. All right, next we have a Funko Pop. <laughs> so this is the Mad-Eye Moody Funko Pop. So I wasn't the biggest Funko collector. Like I wouldn't consider myself a Funko collector because I didn't really start doing it when they started coming out but I do have a few now, and now I kind of have the itch to get like one of each character. So that's why I went ahead and picked this one out. I don't really see him at that many retailers, so it's really awesome that fun.com still has him in stock. And let me go ahead and take him out of the packaging. All right, here he is. Look at him, he's so cute. And it's really fun to see this one as a Funko Pop because all of the Funko eyes are usually this little black dot, but because he has his little monocle eye. He actually has an eye, so it's kind of funny to see that in a Funko Pop, but they're just so detailed. I really like this. So he's got his staff, he's got his wand, and there's details in the back of his coat, even like the little buckles here on his shirt. So well detailed. Love this, so happy to add this to the collection. 
So now I have my very own little Mad Eye Funko Pop. And he retails for $14.99. All right, next we have a fun magical mug. I am obsessed with mugs. I would consider myself a mug collector. <laughs> I would have a lot more mugs if I had the storage for them, but I like my cabinet space, you should see it. I have already too many shelves dedicated to mugs and I am just obsessed with them. So when I saw this fox styled coffee mug, I had to have it. It's so cute, it's so fun. <gasps> I love it, her face is so cute. <laughs> All right, let me take it out of this plastic. Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with this mug. This is gonna be one of my new favorites to use. I have never seen this anywhere before either, so I am so glad that Fun.com has this one. Like, look how beautiful. All the details in her feathers that are painted on, and this is a ceramic mug. I feel like she's captured so well. The inside is just plain white, but on the back side where the handle is, it does have the Harry Potter logo here. And then on the bottom is the trademark information. And the packaging says it's 14 fluid ounces that it can hold, so that's really nice. And another plus is that on the bottom here, it does say that it is dishwasher and microwave safe which I really prefer in my mugs. It just makes it that much easier if I ever need to heat up my coffee if it gets cold, or obviously to wash it. So that is just an added bonus. And the retail cost for this, I believe was between 15 or $20. I wanna say 15, but I'll put it on the screen here because I cannot recall, but I really, really love this. My favorite item so far. The next item is a home item, and I am so excited because, you know, I'm already in this Harry Potter room, so this is definitely gonna come in handy because I had no idea what I wanted to do for my curtain situation. My window's that way, that's why I'm pointing that way. But these are the curtains I saw, and I thought they were so cute. They have little Hogwarts icons on there and it's so pretty and it's gonna fit perfectly on my window. So once I measured it and I saw that it was gonna work, I'm like, I have to have this. So it's just called window panels. It includes two panels and tie backs. And the dimensions on this is a 42 inch by 63 inch. It says made to fit a window that is 36 inches by 48 inches. So this is perfect for like a standard bedroom and they say they are microfiber, but let's go ahead and take it out so you can actually see what they look like. All right, the first two that came out are gonna be the little tie backs. So that looks easy to use. So it's got these little hooks on here too. So we'll figure out how that works. <laughs> All right, <laughs> can you see it? <laughs> it feels like a giant sheet. <laughs> okay, let me get the corner here. So it says Hogwarts, it's got the Hogwarts crest, it's got a bunch of Harry's glasses throughout it, and it's a very pale gray with kind of a darker gray for all the little accent pieces. I do like the like minimalistic colors on here since it does have a pretty busy print, so it's not too distracting, and I'm really excited to see how these are gonna look on my window. I won't be putting them up yet just because I don't have the curtain rod currently, so make sure you stay tuned for my next Harry Potter makeover video because I'll be most likely putting these up. But that is the Harry Potter curtains that I got, and these retailed for $19.99, which is a great price for curtains because if you're on the market for curtains, you know, one panel can be a minimum of $20, and this comes with two. So, yep, there's one and two. And then the tie backs as well, which is gonna be nice. So, yeah, those are the curtains. Really happy about this purchase, and I can't wait to see them up on my window. I will have to steam those because there's lots of creases on there, but that just kind of happens with packaging. <laughs> All right, it looks like we only have three more items left, two in this box, and then one in that last box that we're holding off for last. But the next item is so exciting. It's one that I've been eyeing, and I've been like debating if I should get it or not, but I'm so happy to finally have it. But let me go ahead and give you a sneak peek. You know what it is? <laughs> I'm gonna take it out of the plastic wrap and properly show you. And I got to say, the packaging for everything has been really amazing. Nothing has come damaged. Really impressed with that. And very much appreciated. This item is so beautiful. The details on it, you guys. It is the Loungefly 
Quibbler crossbody bag. Look how beautiful this is. I am in awe. Like it wraps around the top here. But I guess I should hold it this way so you can read it. It's so good. I am obsessed. This looks amazing. And I love the detail of the side because it actually looks like the magazine pages. What a great detail to add. And then on the back side, it has that same kind of a teal blue color. And then it's got the Harry Potter and Loungefly logo. So that is on here as well. And then you have the little area to attach the crossbody part. But let's go ahead and open up because I know there's another detail inside. It's Luna Spectro Specs or the Quibbler Spectro Specs, <laughs> whichever. And then it has this beautiful stripe design on the top. And this is a magnetic little clasp to close it. Here is a close up. Amazing. I love this. All right. Here is the cross body strap. It's attached, so I'm going to need to cut that off. And then, of course, it is stuffed with everything to keep its shape. All right, that took me a little longer than I <laughs> expected, but I have the strap on here now. It's a very long strap. Let me see. I'm gonna put it on. Stand up. It does hit me at my hip or like right below my hip a little bit. So I feel like it's a pretty good length. That's kind of how you would wear it. And it's super cute. And the chain is a pretty good like weight to it too and i do like the leather accent it has on the top of the chain it's a nice little addition i took out all of the stuffing so you can get a proper look inside so it does have one pocket here that is a zipper and it has that stripe pattern throughout the rest of the inside but i am just obsessed with this cute crossbody bag. I just can't believe how gorgeous it really is in person. The details are amazing. The colors are amazing. Really, really love this lounge fly bag. And this retails for $60. So that is my new Quibbler lounge fly crossbody bag. All right, I just took out the last item out of this box. So let's go ahead and move back to the side. <laughs> so I'm very excited about this next item. It's something that's actually been on my wish list and I really wanted to get this year, so I'm so happy I had this opportunity to add this to my collection, and it is the Department 56 Burrow. How gorgeous, and it does light up. So if you're not familiar with Department 56, they have like a Harry Potter Christmas Village collection, so they're not like super Christmassy in my opinion, so I like to display these all year round, and I love the selection of the Department 56 items that they had at fun.com. And when I saw that they had the burrow in stock, I'm like, I need that. <laughs> Cause this isn't always in stock everywhere you look. And this retails for $119.99. So like 120 is usually what you'll find this for. And it's so pretty. So I'm so excited to finally see this one in person. I do have the Department 56 Hogwarts Castle. So this is gonna be such a great addition. And let's go ahead and open it up. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Oh, MG, this is so cute. Oh, this is such a great size. See, this is gonna look so perfect on my bookshelves behind me. Look at all of the details of the burrow. The Weasley family is absolutely one of my favorites. I think they're just so wholesome and sweet. I absolutely adore them. Here's the front door. There's so many fun details. It's like an item that you just like grab out of the movies and now I can have on my shelves. How cute. And then this cord, if you're curious, is how it lights up. So a lot of like Christmas villages, if you are familiar with them, usually have a light bulb that you can actually like take out and in um, just in case you need to replace it. So that is the only like downside I would say to the Burrow and Hogwarts. They both don't have the light bulb underneath, but I believe the other villages do. I don't own any other ones, but I've heard they have light bulbs underneath, which is nice. So it's like, if this light goes out, 
It's a little unfortunate. I know it still looks beautiful on its own without it being lit up. Do keep that in mind if that is something that matters to you, but I do know I really wanted to add this to my collection and I would be still happy to display it as is because I don't know how often I'll light it up, but I'm very happy about it. It's so beautiful. And one more thing to check off my wish list. And it does have this little box in here that includes a little outlet and plug, and that's how you actually light it up. So you connect it to that and then to a wall. <laughs> All right, we are finally on our very last item, and it's this one in this heavy box. So let's go ahead and open it up. <laughs> and here is the item. So it is some bookends, but they're not just any bookends. We've got Harry running through the platforms nine and three quarters, and it's so beautiful. So let's open it up and really see all the details. All right, it is officially out of the packaging. Wait, how should I hold this? <laughs> kind of heavy. All right, to show you them together. Oh, how cool is this? You see Harry actually running through platforms nine and three quarters. Up from front and ten, you see ten here. Look how cool. So you see Hedwig's cage coming out the one end. You see Harry pushing it through his trolley. Very cool detail. Sorry, I'm not holding it. It's very heavy. Um, but let me just show you one by one. All right, first we have here Harry pushing through the trolley. And you can even see like details on his face. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can see he's got his glasses and everything. Like they put all of the details on these bookends. And you can like even see part of Hedwig's cage here. You see all of his little boxes and trunks, even his outfit, like so many beautiful details. And then you also see the number 10 for platform 10. And I'm guessing this side is nine, but this side is the side that you would have not facing out. So that's not gonna have the nine there because it stick out and you won't be able to keep it close to a wall. And then the second side is going to be the side that you're in, side nine and three quarters. So that is gonna have the sign there and here. And then on the base here, you actually see Hedwig and the rest of his trunks from his trolley. It's so cute. And there's even a chocolate frog here on the ground. Or is it just a toad? Let me see. It actually might just be a toad, like this might be Trevor. <laughs> How cute. And then on the very bottom has the licensing information. So this is by Inesco. So that's who actually makes this item and then it's retailed through fun.com, but it does have all the information and this is a very soft velvet. So it's not gonna ruin your shelves or whatever you're going to be placing it on. Even this part that touches your books is a nice soft velvet. So that will keep everything protected as well which is a good detail to have. Even the brickwork and everything, how this is painted, very, very beautiful. And these bookends, they are made out of resin as well, if you were wondering the material, but it does have a really good weight to it. They're very heavy. And these retail for $109.99, so $110 for the bookends, which actually I guess I have, because I was supposed to do it from lowest price point to highest price point, so the beat this by about ten dollars so sorry about that but <laughs> I did want to save this one for last anyway since it was in its own special box but I just loved everything that I got today and I cannot wait to make my coffee tomorrow and my beautiful Fox Phoenix mug and I just can't believe like everything I've seen before like I've had in mind that I've wanted <laughs> I guess I should say but this is something that really surprised me and I have not seen it anywhere and I'm so happy to have it let me know if this is something new to you as well in the comments below or if you already actually have this or you've seen it and you're like this is old news tip definitely let me know but I'm happy to finally have it it's so cute <sighs> and everything else of course but that is going to wrap up today's harry potter haul from fun.com so another huge thank you to the people over at fun.com for reaching out to me and gifting me these items and giving me the opportunity to showcase them and review them for you guys but i also want to know which was your favorite item in today's haul let me know down in the comments below and as always if you like today's video please give me a big thumbs up 
Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.